Okay, YouTube, I want to uh, make a video here to help out the next guy doing what I just did. Uh, I got an AEM air fuel uh, ratio gauge and I installed it and I'm using the serial out output uh, which has the blue wire on pin 2 and the black wire on pin 5. Uh, and I bought a serial output but I bought a female output. Uh, and I wired it to pin 2 and pin 5 on the female uh, DB9 uh, adapter, just a cheap one on, on uh, Amazon. And then I got a USB cable that was male, which means it has the protruding pins uh, on the adapter, and it went to USB. So it didn't work. Uh, I didn't know what was going on. I, I followed the labels, etc. But what I finally realized is, is that pin 2 on the male side actually poked into this port right there at the center of my finger, which is really pin 4. So the pin 2 that the USB connector uh, male was expecting is really pin 4 on my adapter, and then pin 5 is over here. So essentially, if you get an adapter like I got, it the pin numbers don't matter. You've just got to make sure and trace it through and even do continuity testing with a, um, a multimeter to make sure that the real pin two and the real pin five signals are getting through. Now, when I first made that change, I actually went to then downloaded this cheap or free program called Hyper Terminal and hooked up to the COM port that Windows 10 assigned to my USB to serial adapter and I turned on my wideband and you could see it coming through so you knew the signal was getting there and that's I thought important because then in my case I went to HP tuners turned on HP tuners connected the vehicle loaded up the AFR serial AM um, channel and then as soon as I started logging it disappears and this is a common problem that people keep talking about in my case it was disappearing uh, at first because it was picking up no signal uh, because I had um, you know the wrong pins because of the um, sort of misdirection the labels on the adapter gave me so once I got the pins right it still wouldn't work actually so only when I kept the USB cable plugged in and then restarted my computer and kept the USB cable plugged in then loaded HP tuners then connected the vehicle and then loaded that channel then it works and so I tested this a few times. If I unplug the USB port, plug it back in, HP tuners can't see it. If I do a restart, HP tuners can see it. So here I'm at HP tuners and you can see uh, the AEM AFR is loaded. That's a serial one loaded up. And of course nothing's showing right now. If I go to connect a vehicle and it takes a while to open the interface. Okay, if I then hit start recording, you're going to see that AM AFR go away. Yeah, it just disappears. So the problem in this case is, is that I had unplugged this USB cable at one point since I last restarted my computer. So I'm going to pause the video, restart the computer with the cable plugged in, and you know the uh, vehicle turned on, and then you'll see that it does come up. Okay, so we're back. We've restarted the computer. Cable's still plugged in. I'm going to connect the vehicle again. Connect it to the vehicle. You can see the AM, AFR uh, channel is still there. I'm going to hit record at this time or start scanning. And you can see AFR reading stays. And of course, it's 96 right now because the vehicle is not running. But uh, that's what worked for me. Um, yeah, it kept disappearing uh, because at first I presumed that the pins on the adapter that I had bought uh, would be correct. Uh, but essentially, 
it's 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 different when they're sort of mirroring across to uh, your USB cable. So you just have to pay attention to that. Uh, and then secondly, you know, restarting the computer with the cable plugged in seems to make a drastic difference. And then after you restart the computer and keep it plugged in, uh, it, 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 it works over and over again without restarting. So um, if you leave that plugged in and then you use a different USB port for, say, doing your flashing uh, to the computer, uh, then you can go from flash back to scanning, etc. So hope that helps. Um, certainly leave uh, a comment if you have a question on my situation. Uh, and then ultimately, I'll add in the description the AEM um, wideband that I use and the adapter I used and the cable I used. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.